Hello guys, how you doing? This is su amigo Alex, your friend Alex. And today I'm going to show you how to update your Open Core Legacy Patcher MacBook. This, it's a MacBook Pro 15 inch mid 2014. I'm running Sequoia 15.3.2, but Apple just released a new update. So the question is, how can I update this macOS Sequoia to the latest version? If I go here to software update, macOS Sequoia 15.5 and pro video formats. A lot of people are going to click update now, but you should never do that. Why? Because you are running a open core legacy patcher computer. So how can I update my computer without messing up my open core legacy patcher? It's very simple. First, we're going to find the open core legacy patcher. Go to launchpad. And here it is, Open Core Patcher. Open it. You can see that we have a new version. Right now I have 2.2.0, but there's a new one, 2.4.0. So in order to update to the latest macOS Sequoia, I need to first update the Open Core Legacy Patcher version. What you're gonna do is click download and install. I'm downloading the new Open Core Patcher 2.4.0. The update was successfully installed. Would you like to update open core and your root volume patches? You're going to click yes. I'm going to select install to this. This is my hard drive. And then click here. Now I'm going to install the open core. So it's finished. Would you like to update your root patches next? Click yes. And you're going to click start root patching. Before updating to the latest Sequoia update, we needed to update the Open Core Legacy Patcher. Okay, so I finished updating. Now it says reboot to apply. So we're going to reboot it. Are you sure you want to restart your computer? Restart. We are restarting the computer and the selection was done automatically. All right, so let's get in. Having Open Core Legacy Patcher on 2.4.0 is going to allow me to install the newest update for macOS Sequoia. All right, so you can go here about this Mac and let's see if we can find that update. So it's taking a while. I'm going to go back to general software update and hopefully I'm going to see it here. If this is taking that long, you can always use Open Core Legacy Patcher to download the latest version. How can you do that? You're going to open Open Core Legacy Patcher. You're going to click here on Create Mac OS Installer. And you're going to download Mac OS Installer. Mac OS Sequoia 15.5. So this is the latest one on May 12, 2025. This Mac OS Sequoia 15.5 is exactly the same as this Mac OS Sequoia 15.5. I'm going to select Mac OS Sequoia and I'm going to click download. Open Core Legacy Patcher has detected that a Mac OS update is being downloaded. The patcher needs to prepare the system for the update and will download any additional resources it may need post update. The patcher will exit when it's done. Okay, so I'm going to click OK, and we're still downloading this new macOS Sequoia 15.5. I'll be back. All right, guys, so it says less than a minute left. We have 15.6 gigabytes of 15.7 gigabytes. It took me a while to download the whole thing. Now it's validating the macOS installer, extracting macOS installer. Now it says create macOS installer. All right, so I'm just going to open the installer. If you go to applications, you're going to see it right here. So let's see what happens if I just double click and try to install it. Here we go. macOS Sequoia, continue, agree, agree. And this is the hard drive, continue, my password. And now we're going to try to install macOS Sequoia. It's going to take 56 minutes. I'll be back. OK, so it looks like it finished, but let me see what's going on. I'm going to put my password. Something weird is going on. Look how small is this. Open Core Legacy Patcher has detected that you are running without root patches and would like to install them. I'm going to click OK. System extension updated. Going to click OK. Also this one. Reboot to apply. I'm going to click Reboot. Restart. Now it looks much better. So let me see. And let me double check here. System settings. And look at that. Install macOS Sequoia 15.5. Make sure you click here on macOS. And you're going to disable this stuff. 
always make sure you have all of this disabled, okay? Now, looks like I have another update here for Pro Video Formats. I'm gonna update it now, and this time it's gonna do it. And that's it, your Mac is up to date. Look at this, Mac OS Sequoia 15.5, check for updates. I'm running the latest version of Mac OS Sequoia 15.5, so that's it guys, that's how you update your computer with OpenCore Legacy Patcher. On my previous computer, the MacBook Air 2017, I was able to do the update from the computer. I didn't need to download macOS Sequoia from the Open Core. In this one, I needed to do that because it was not installing from the update from the computer. Let me check here on post install root patch. All applicable patches are already installed, so I'm good guys. And that's it guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. That's the best way you can support what I do. And I'll see you on my next video. Take care guys, bye.